the issue that I have is where do children come in? What are their rights under a negative income tax? And are we, by building in a negative income tax, in fact, subsidizing uh, the illegitimacy that Tom Sowell is so concerned about? The major reason it is not feasible today to have a negative income tax is because the present welfare bureaucracy would be out of work. They are the major objectors, as pa uh, Senator Pat, and now he's now a senator, Pat Moynihan then, demonstrated in his book on the Nixon program. The chief obstacle to getting it enacted was a welfare bureaucracy. So that I don't believe these administrative problems, if you got it enacted, would be at all serious. I think the other assumption under the negative income tax, and it's one that uh, I'm not sure I can buy, is that everybody has a minimum level of, of understanding about how to spend money. In other words, how to use the marketplace to satisfy wishes. And, and I, as an economist, could say, yes, we do. We, ev everybody from age four to uh, 100 knows how to use money to satisfy wants. And that's, that's, <laughs> but the, they don't. that's the premise. But they don't. There are all the sorts of problems isn't. of people who are not going to be able to. But that's a minority problem. That's a problem for private activity and private charity. One thing is sure. They're spending, they would be spending their own money, and that however knowledgeable you are about they how to spend... They would be spending my money. They, I, they would be spending my, my money, but it would be one stage less bad. Right now, the welfare worker is spending Mr. A's money to help Mr. C. And there's a big takeoff in the middle, as Tom Sowell said. The question is not whether people on welfare, on low incomes, can all spend their money effectively. The question is, how effectively do they spend it as compared to how effectively the bureaucrats spend it for them? Right. Comparing anything to, per to perfection uh, or to some arbitrary standard uh, s settles nothing. The same thing is true in the education area. They're saying, would families be able to select schools for their kids under a voucher system, for example? Well, the question is, could they possibly do much worse than the current bureaucrats are doing in the, in the, in the public school system?